What's going on, Mongs? It's me, Semi Mong, and today we're back on Crowful doing some more weapon crafting. I'm just undecided on what to craft. It is either between, let me just whip up the options, a two handed sword for my Templar, or a, where is it, two one handed maces, so I can try out the Myrmidon. I think it's Myrmidon. Yep, that's how you pronounce it. So I'm just going to take a couple of seconds and decide. I don't know. We're going to go for the two-handed sword, just because I've started a new Elkin Gatherer. And the only options, really, are Cleric, Templar, or Knight. And I, I don't want to do Knight at the moment. Cleric, I, I hate with a passion. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and make the sword, Weapon Blade, great. A sword core, great. And a Weapon Hilt, great. As always, using a uh, birch wood here, just so I can get the tiny extra bit of attack power on the grip for the handle, or the weapon handle even. So I'm just going to make as many metal bars as I can with the copper ore, but as you can see, I'm running out of copper, and I'm running out of iron. So after this video, I'm going to have to go ahead and try and do a little copper and iron run, because I use iron and copper mainly for my weapons. I've got a bit of tin left still. But I don't know how many bars this is going to make. 3, 6, 9, 18, and one off. It's going to make one more bar. Ah. The rest is just going to have to be out of iron. Critical hit chance. So yeah, we'll get a lot of crit hit damage if I do make the rest out of iron. Because it's got crit hit damage and attack power instead. Yeah, there we go. Critical hit damage. The rest of the sword's just going to have to be out of that. And to be honest with you, I've not got much blacksmithing experimentation points. Obviously, I've got not, not got much uh, blacksmithing skill training. And I've only got common ore. I am starting to stack the green, the blues, and whatnot. So we're getting there. I still need one more bar. But yeah, take it with a pinch of salt. This is some very low quality crafting. But we will get there eventually. I just need to start stockpiling some more copper, some iron. Got some silver, got some gold for my uh, harvesting tools. What else do I need? I need a great weapon blade, which is four more. And then a core. Which is two more, so I need six more bars. Alright, so that's the pommel being created. And then I believe it is just the cross guard, and then the uh, pommel cross guard makes the hilt. And then we've just got to make the sword blade and the core, and come out with the final product. It's going to be something really, really weak, but still. At least we can test out the Templar, and of course, start up my new gatherer. I may potentially make another sword, one for like a combat Templar, one for like a gathering, my gathering Templar. E that's even if I stick with Templar. I may just ditch the Elkin and start a Wood Elf when the Frost Weaver comes out. Grip, grip, cross guard and pommel. Assemble, so we're getting the start of our sword. Uh, let's go for damage, obviously one pip and then a two pip. I'm not doing a three pip. <gasps> Failure, why? Oh. I don't mind, as I said, it's low quality crafting, but when you outright fail... It just adds to the, the, the horribleness, the crappiness of the product at the end. It's actually really so weird. Alright, here's the sword core. Uh, more sheen. Just increase that critical hit damage a little bit. Does that, did that increase the attack power? Or was I just seeing things? And then the weapon blade, here we go. Just chuck that in. 26 attack power, let's do damage. Did that even did that even change anything? I'm pretty sure it literally didn't change anything. Or did it change your attack power? And it was just lagging a little bit. But let's wait for this and then let's plop them all in together. And then I will be back tomorrow and over the weekend with some more crafting and of course some combat. Testing out different classes, trying to get a bit of PvP action. So if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe or check back to the channel later in the week. There we go, we've got everything we need. Let's go ahead to weapons. Two-handed sword, bam, bam, bam. And then let's chuck in the ethereal dust. I have not got any hunger shards at the moment, I am sorry. But let's assemble success. Only an attack power of 112. It was a little bit more than the two-handed axe that we made the other day. Critical hit damage of plus four, and then plus 0.4 and the critical hit chance. Nothing too crazy. Are we gonna get any good pulls? As I said, I've not got too much training. I've not got too many experimentation points. I'm only at three. 
But let's go ahead. Uh, great success there, and then another success there as well. Don't actually see what it changed, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. But let's go ahead, press next, and make item. Guys, I'm going to end that off here. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that like down below. Get involved in the comments section. I shall reply whether it's to do with Crowfall or anything else gaming related. And of course, if you want to check out my Amazon store, the link is in the description down below as well. Latest game releases, consoles, just gaming products from all of your favourite games. So yeah, thanks for all of the support and I shall see you in the next video.